You must remember, these guys are doing their observations. These guys are people first and then criminals. They're using their mind. We need to think like they would think. We need to put something in place so that before he even thinks of it, we are prepared for it. The city of Cape Town has installed a new property crime unit to stop house robberies and vehicle theft in a suburb struggling with house break-ins. Sergeant Nicky Horn and another Metro Police officer have been placed full-time in Rondebosch East since February 2018. They're targeting mostly electronics, the Carabao gang, and safes. Between 12 at night up to 5 o'clock in the morning. Then they would take 15 to 1 hour to hit your place. It depends on how it is on the outside. The pilot task team consists of two full-time Metro Police officers who work alongside SAPs, neighborhood watch groups and private security companies. The crime, according to what we have received, the, the relationship with the neighborhood watches and the security company has come down remarkably. But just a few hours before my ride along with Sergeant Horn, a home invasion had taken place in the area. Ronnebosch East's neighborhood watch team, Lanro, assisted the victim. Um, he had people coming to his house, time up, and then from what I gather, they managed to get his ATM card or something. Um, and they went, one of them went to the bank to draw cash and the other one stayed in the house. However, even with the recent home invasion, neighborhood watch groups say the task team is helping fight crime. Look, they say this entire idea is a great idea because we do need someone that we can actually work with. You know, as Neighborhood Watch, we don't have guns. All we have is literally a decal on the side of our, our vehicle, a light to create awareness. And a and, torch. Uh, and ourselves <laughs> and a torch, yeah. You know, it's not as if we are going to start using martial arts and we're going to disarm them all. We can't do that, you know. But fighting crime is a lot more than patrolling and visibility on the ground. CCTV and license plate recognition software is essential, but not cheap. So the task team approached private companies such as Century City's Security Operations Center, which alerts law enforcement when a stolen or flagged vehicle is spotted in their area. So where are we right now? Okay, we're now in a security operations center. So what will happen is a vehicle will pass through that point, it will trigger. Okay, so we'll pick it up and it will we'll give a little note here. It will say that it's a level two and that vehicle's involved in housebreaking and theft. We will then put a little operation together with Metro Police, with SAPs or, uh, and our security teams, and they will take down that vehicle. It's still early days, but if this integrated task team proves successful at reducing crime, Metro Police say they will assign six more full-time law enforcement officers to the team, plus a prosecutor to help secure convictions. Across Cape Town, more and more residents are taking crime prevention into their own hands. Neighborhood watches are springing up to deter crime. This collaborative approach between residents, Metro Police, SAPs and private security companies could prove to be the model for fighting crime in the future. Metro do help and can help in a bigger way. Obviously at this moment in time, there's only two officers that we have. Um, but I'm sure as time goes on, they will obviously create a, a greater team. The vision is pulling us and in order to succeed, and we will succeed, no matter the challenges and the shortcomings, we deliver.